This episode brought to you by Noble Gold. Now, it's not often you get a gift for yourself in the holidays, is it? So, how does a free 22 karat American Gold Eagle coin sound? Not bad, huh? A free 22 karat American Gold Eagle coin in a special presentation box. But it's not that simple. To qualify, you have to take out a precious metals IRA or 401k rollover with Noble Gold. It makes a lot of sense right now to keep your savings and your investments safe. Who knows what the new administration will do? And because Noble Gold has helped thousands of investors to keep their retirement funds safe from Washington, they'll run through your options with no hard sell and help you protect them from being taken. So call 877-646-5347 and get this special coin offer, but don't hang around. That's 877-646-5347. Again, that's 877-646-5347. And make sure to tell them Drone Tech Politics sent you. Your husband, our beloved Joe Biden, he has said that his biggest fear was that Trump would find a way to steal the election. I'm very scared. Tell me what Joe and the Democrats are going to do about that. We don't have that much time left. Well, there's no question about that. We know that Trump is encouraging violence in America to just distract from his failures, right? And I have to say, this group of people at the table rarely agree on anything, but we were all holding out for Biden and said not to count him out to the point that all the women on the show have gotten a lot of criticism because we've said don't count him out. It's like the yeah. one thing that's really united us. So the view was a little right, just saying. Um, I never thought to doubt him because America loves him. Dr. B, I have to ask you, you know, when you were here last time, I said to you, they're going to get vicious. They're nasty people over there. He's beyond belief, this guy. We, I know yeah. him from the old days in New York City. Is it, is it as bad as I said it was going to be or worse? Yeah. You know, and people wanted really to see you get mad when Trump started lying about Hunter and saying things about Hunter. I don't know that you got mad enough. As a mother, how hurtful have these attacks been um, on Hunter? What do you think the media is missing? Well, I, I think it's tough being the media these days. I'm not being facetious. No, the, the, the free press being the enemy of the people, yeah. that, if you notice, he's repeated and repeated and yeah. repeated, and now people are going, well, I don't know, I'm not so sure. That's the problem. And so... As we head into a new year, it's looking more and more likely to be a year filled with partisan political propaganda in service of a possible Biden administration. Our media is a tool of the Democrat Party, and the contrast to their reporting over the last four years will be predictably stark. Just think the Obama years and the media's separation of Obama from any bad news. Hence their alternate reality claims that Obama's administration was scandal free. Your husband, our beloved Joe Biden, your husband, our beloved Joe Biden. <laughs> yes, she just called him our beloved Joe Biden. The guy who sniffs and gropes kids and women. The guy who had to drop out of a previous presidential run because of plagiarism and the constant lies that came back to bite him. The same guy who, along with Barack Obama, housed kids in so-called cages and separated tens of thousands of families through deportation. Ah, but the media never reported on those stories as being the fault of Joe Biden or Barack Obama. That's why it only became a scandal when a Republican took over. That's how this works. Well, you know, I'm not a physician, and so I, I think it's inappropriate to opine about mental fitness. It, it almost feels crass to me. I got scared. For the country. For the mean. country. Oh, okay. Because I started thinking about the 25th Amendment, if I'm being honest. I started thinking about his fitness to lead the country. Because it sounded, uh, um, it, it sounded like the rantings of, well, of someone that was unstable. As if questioning Trump's mental fitness hasn't been one of the main weapons in their arsenal from the start. I've lost count of all the fake psychologists being paraded around the media to diagnose Trump as mentally unfit so they could justify their attempts to overturn an election using the 25th Amendment. We know that Trump is encouraging violence in America to just distract from his failures, right? Fox News poll actually that shows that in Wisconsin in particular, that by a five percentage point, those very same people in Wisconsin believe that Biden is safer for America. CNN poll, same thing. Five percentage point, Biden is safer for America. So those suburban moms that Trump is really trying to play for in those swing states, they know that Trump is the more dangerous candidate for America, for their children, for their parents, for everyone.
Yeah. Back in the real world, it's left-wingers who have been rampaging since May. And really, going back to before the election. Such as in San Jose, where mobs of Mexican flag-waving Bernie supporters attacked Trump supporters. Or the Democrat who almost assassinated half of the GOP Senate. Or the left-wingers who attacked ICE facilities, inspired by CNN and Democrats like AOC. What isn't happening is violence from militias, or cities being destroyed by mobs of Trump supporters. Unfortunately, the only thing that many suburban moms know is what they're seeing on daytime television. And if the media is constantly fear-mongering about one side while always glowingly promoting the other, chances are they're going to side with the glowing, happy propaganda over the oppressive daily negativity. This is one way in which the media trains people to accept their ideological narratives. It's almost like torture when you think about it. Oppose us and we'll make it painful for you. Or go along with what we say and we'll make your dopamine happily gush. All right, folks, a little taste of what's to come during a possible Biden administration. I mean, when it comes down to it, the spew is really no different from an hour with Chris Cuomo or Brian Stelter. Just a reminder, I am going to start posting videos in the mornings at 7.30 a.m. Eastern. If I have extra time, I'll also have a video at 5 p.m. Eastern, so look out for that. That's all I have for this one. Please hit that like button and subscribe. If you'd like to support this channel, you can find all those links in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.